Hey folks, it's Kat Bean and welcome back to another episode of my long-term survival world. So, um, today I'm just finishing off some mining, got to do some inventory management. Uh, like and subscribe rainbow should be coming over your screen right about now so if you've not been here before please consider liking and subscribing uh, it really helps out the channel it helps me well it doesn't really help me make more videos because i don't get paid for this crap but i will shall continue to do so if you know people like doing so well i'll probably continue to do so anyway but anyway say goodbye to like and subscribe rainbow say bye rainbow bye that was I don't know why I did that. That was so weird. And I don't know why I made like and subscribe rainbow so long this time. It did not mean to do that. Anyway, I am time lapsing the miney bit because it be dull. Uh, like, I do... Like, I've got this... Like, I enjoy watching other people, like, mining. But, like, when I do it, it just seems... Like, I enjoy doing it, like, practically in Minecraft. Uh... I don't enjoy watching myself do it uh, when I'm doing the voiceover because it's... Uh, can, oh, sorry guys, hold on a second. Uh, my cat's water bowl is electric, so like uh, when it runs out of water it starts making this really loud, really annoying noise and the baby's asleep so I needed to go uh, top that up real quick. So, but anyway, as I was saying, um, I don't know what I was saying. Yeah, I don't know why I made a like and subscribe rainbow that big this time, but um, yeah, uh, thank like if last time I checked, I think I had like one thousand and sixty subscribers. So thank you so much, guys. It is very much appreciated. I'm so excited. Uh, looking forward to um the Divergent SMP, which hopefully should be coming out March first. So stay tuned for that. Uh, as I was saying before, yeah, now we cut on. Uh, like me watching myself do uh mining in a like when i'm doing the voiceover it's just like you know i've already done this why do i need to watch myself do it again like uh i don't like me personally i like watching other minecraft youtubers actually put in the work uh that's why i don't take out any of the the mining stuff and that stuff from my videos so like people can't come to me and say Oh, you didn't actually, like, go grinding for this. Like, you probably have jumped into creative and, like, got it all from creative and then jumped back into survival. No, my long-term survival world is pure survival. It has never been in creative. I have made copies of this world and put them into creative uh, for the purposes of, like, um, thumbnails and screenshots and stuff like that. Uh etc but my main survival world has never ever and never will be ever put into creative uh unless one of my kids gets a hold of my pc at some point but they are they're not allowed to touch uh mommy's computer so that should hopefully never happen right um i do plan to destroy the rails and like put some blue ice in there uh you will see me like because I found out recently that, like, because I am pre-recording the video now before I'm doing the voiceover, that I do tend to spend a lot of time just standing about, as you can see here. And then, well, you can't see it here anymore because I did just go back and, like, sort of snip. Well, not snip it. I, like, time-lapsed it, like, by a lot. So, uh... It might show up as a, like a little blip <laughs> in the video. Like, here's me standing around. Like, catch me if you can. If you pause it at just the right time, you might be able to get it. Um, there's a little challenge for you. See if you can catch me just standing there staring at a... Uh, what are they called? Mine, mine cart. There we go. I got this. I can speak words. I learned to teach when I was very little. Uh, ah, this... Like, I've got shulker boxes everywhere at the minute. It's getting kind of ridiculous. I do need the redstone, though. I do need to finish up the, the big redstone hole. Um, When you don't use the redstone... Like, obviously, I've got a four-year-old world, and I don't use redstone for the purpose that it was intended in Minecraft. Uh, so then you've got to think of things to then use it for, because... Otherwise, it, it's just going to waste. Yes, just like, we'll just, yep, nip all these in the bud. I keep saying that a lot today, and I don't know why. 
we'll just nip that in the bud. We'll just nip this in the bud. We'll just, uh, aye, we'll just nip it all in the bud. I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to break out just around this bit and fill that in as well. Just because I don't like the little bit with the ladder poking out. It just looks very not neat. So we'll just go around with redstone. I think I might actually need to get more redstone now that I've decided to do the border. But oh my god, well I should not drink fizzy juice. I just... My stomach's like... Burp, 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 burp. But anyway. Oh, are we going down? Are we going down? Are we going... Whee! Oh, uh, it's funny when it's like so fast. Like, because when I'm going up those ladders, like normally, I'm like like pushing the button, going up, and like checking my phone at the same time because like it takes forever. So I probably should have invested in a. Hey, right. not cool, dude. Uh, invested in a like water elevator, bubble elevator, bubble vader, if you will. That makes me think of Darth Vader for some reason. Bubble Vader. Bubble Vader. <laughs> Darth Vader. I don't know. <laughs> talk, talk, talking the, talking some sh stuff today. Yeah, I just took the little one to self-play this morning. She's currently down for a nap, so I am voicing this over during nap time before the other ones. The husband's away with our son because they've got to do swimming because he's got additional sport needs. Uh, a parent must be in attendance in case we need to like dive into the pool and save his like scrawny butt. Um, so they are at school uh, time and she's down for a nap. So I was like, I got the house all to myself. What will I do? I've already tidied the living room uh, and done everything else like I need to do as a parent slash adult today. So I was like, ah, I've got time. I'll just record another record another voiceover. Not too shabby. I mean, this video has been cut down from like 45 minutes. I've got another one to do after this. It's like an hour and a half or two hours long. So I might chop that into two parts and then time lapse some of it. Uh, because I find that like I only need videos currently up till the first of March uh, but because I like I want to play so much uh, like I've got like all these obviously I had like three hours of footage saved and like I can only fit so much but like I try to keep the videos as close to 20 minutes possible and I can only fit so much and time lapse so much uh, so that you guys like see it all uh, but where I'm still in a position where I get to play as much as I want, but also I have to record at the same time so I can then like show you what I'm doing and like so that you aren't missing anything. Uh, and like sometimes I feel like like maybe I shouldn't have like started recording like my main survival world, but I do like having my main survival world as a series. It's like the main series on my channel. Uh, currently the only series on my channel possibly like I do I do do occasionally different things here and there but like you know this is the main thing uh, although one of the plans now is to also uh, hit the nether um, do a ton more netherite mining before the new update comes out because uh, I'm not entirely sure what the changes are like, I've not looked into that much, but I do know that there is, like, uh, an overhaul for netherite uh, to some such degree. And that it would probably be easier mining it now and turning it into netherite. Like, mining the ancient debris now and turning it into netherite to use at a later date uh, than to use it later. Although, I don't know if it's, like... A change in actually acquiring the netherite or if it's a change in like using the netherite in which case do I just make a ton of backup like because you've seen my armor uh, and then I've got backup armor and then I've got 
more backup armor and I've got backup tools and other tools and blah, 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 blah. So, like, I'm not hurting for netherite gear at all. Uh, and I've also got more netherite like, lying around in probably my uh, ender chest. So, like, I ain't hurting for netherite at the moment. But I don't want to get to the point where, like, I've had a really bad day, died horribly a few times, lost all my stuff, and I'm at the point where I'm using, like, diamond stuff again because, you know, netherite's too difficult or tricky to obtain. So, like, if you, like, do plan, if you do have, like, a long-term world that you do plan to be in for a while, like, obviously, take these update things into account and plan accordingly, if you can. Um, not everybody can do that, obviously. Um, like, oh, my, like, furnaces. I do need to make some of these into blast furnaces, because... Regular furnaces just don't do it for me anymore. I need, I need more blast furnaces. I like to have the power. I need the power. And uh, lots of smooth stone. That will come in handy when I actually manage to finish doing the rest of the mine. So that's the thing. Um, Because of like how long I've been in that mine, like that, that thing could go on forever and ever and ever. And I'd... I'm kind of, I kind of want to keep it like going as long as it can, uh, till it gets to the new generation, and see how it goes. Um, there is a bit in one of my next videos. Uh, probably won't be for like a few days. Um, I think I'm releasing one every day in February. Uh, this one is definitely coming out in February. Um. But yeah, like there's uh, a part in one of my new videos, like because I just recorded it yesterday. Like I'm standing outside one of my other bases, and I get like a creeper blows up like right next to me, like and I did not hear it at all, uh, and I was just like, uh, and then I think I patched the, uh, I think I patched the house with mushroom blocks. So look out for that. That that should be that should be fun. Um. But yeah, need to make some blast for Nassies. The furnace of the blast. That doesn't make sense. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so I had a health scare recently. I didn't tell anybody about it. Obviously, my husband knew. But uh, I found a lump. I'm a girl. Take a guess where. <laughs> Uh, so I found a lump, went to the doctors. This was just after like New Year's. So our doctors, our doctors was actually in the news uh, in the UK. Our doctor and another doctor in our area was in the news. And my doctor has actually um, resigned. And all the partner doctors at our surgery have resigned. So our GP practice has actually been taken over by another GP practice. Uh, so it's a big thing. So obviously they're short staffed. So I went to see them after uh it's like appointments are like gold dust and are like are they like is this the emergency? And like yeah, kinda and like you don't want to be the one to like oh it's probably nothing, but like if you've got something like this, like get it checked out. Don't be oh it's probably nothing. Um so yeah, I went to the doctors, uh Female doctor. If it was a dude, it, would, it, it doesn't bother me. Uh, so anyway, she checked everything out and she's like, yeah, there's definitely something there. Uh, wait a couple of weeks because, you know, girls, periods, etc. Uh, see if it was a hormonal thing and then come back and see me. So I went back and seen her uh, a few weeks later and then still there. So I had to wait another few weeks to get... Actually, the appointment was really quick. I was quite impressed with that. A lot of people... Like, obviously, if they get a scare like this, uh, a lot of it's, like, the waiting and the wondering and the what-ifs and blah, 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 blah. And I'm, like, I try not to worry about things until there is something to worry about. Like, if it had been, like, the big C word, uh, then at that point I would give myself permission to panic. 
uh, until then, you know, life carries on as usual. So unless there's something actual fundamentally that I know there's something wrong and that, you know, to worry about, just keep going, put it to the back of your mind because in my head, there's no point in worrying about something that doesn't exist yet. And I don't like fear like as a concept at all. Uh, it is essentially, obviously, fear is essentially all in your head. It's your body and your mind's response to stuff like this. Um, which is like obviously completely appropriate for your body to do. But like so I had to wait a few more weeks for the hospital appointment, went to the hospital, uh, saw the consultant, she did a check, and then like my husband came with me, with our youngest, uh, so obviously she did a check, and she had a male student uh, with her. Uh, so we went into the room, and like I go behind this curtain, so my husband's on the other side with her, with our youngest and the carrier, uh, and she, like she does all the checks, and she's like, uh, I, I think it's fine and blah 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 and then uh, she's like oh can my student um, basically <laughs> have a try <laughs> I'm like yeah sure on you go pal uh, and the, the poor poor laddie looked absolutely like my husband's six foot nine he is not a small man and that this poor guy obviously my husband was on the other side of the curtain he couldn't see him couldn't see what was going on and he's like, he looked absolutely petrified <laughs> I was like, it's fine. It's like, I have, I have had three kids. Like, I am not embarrassed by my body, uh, or my bodily functions or anything like that. Like, you know, the amount of doctors that have seen the uh, the unmentionables is is many. <laughs> so, so it it doesn't faze me. But this. This this poor student, oh bless his heart, he looked absolutely petrified, and I'm I'm kind of like sitting there thinking, like, is it going too far if I turn around and go, so do you come here often? <laughs> and like I say that to my husband after we left, he just like laughed, but yeah, it was just like an inflamed lymph node, so absolutely nothing to worry about. Thankfully, um, but obviously we didn't really tell anyone because. We didn't want people to panic unnecessarily. I mean, if it turned out to be something, then yeah, we'd, that'd have to be like an in-face conversation, like rocking up to my parents' house going, you don't guess what? I am one of the 50% of people that... <laughs> yeah, but um, like my grandmother, uh, she had breast cancer. My friend has had breast cancer. My auntie's had breast cancer. My husband's auntie's had breast cancer. And they're all still alive. So I wasn't too concerned. Uh, but yeah. You, you know, it's like, it's, it's one of those things that you can't help mulling over as much as you try like oh what 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 if this happened or what if that happened or blah blah blah, blah. uh it just sort of like it does put things and in life into perspective a bit so we have been trying to like eat more healthily and get more exercise and blah blah, blah. not for like not for the sake of losing weight or anything like I do not have a problem with my weight at the minute, although the doctor would probably tell me that I am, you know, over my BMI, uh, which is true, I am. Uh, I, I am not a skinny girl, you know, hardly anybody is these days. Um, but, yeah, it's... Uh, but like I've said before, like, I have had three kids. I have health complications. I am happy with me the way I am. Uh, I'm happy with my personality. I'm happy with my body. I, but I do have two, potentially three kids with disabilities. Uh, one 
for certain is going to need care for the rest of his life. He will never live independently. Our youngest is looking like she's going that way also. Uh, so, yeah, I needed to time up this because I have so much iron. Uh, but yeah, like, we need to make sure that we're around as long as we can so that we can look after our kids for as long as possible. Uh, but I'm completely confident in the fact that the kids will be sorted uh, when we eventually go. It's not like the nicest thing to think about, but these things have to be thought about. Uh our oldest will have options whether she wants to care for them or not. You know, we would never put her in the position where she felt she absolutely had to care for her younger siblings. We would not do that. She is not theirs. They are not her responsibility at all. Uh, so we just need to make sure that we're alive as long as possible to look after them. Uh, yeah, I think I'll get dementia when I'm older. It, t it, t it tends to run in my family, both my maternal and paternal grandparents. Uh, well, no, that's a lie. Both my, uh, both my mother's gra uh, mother and father. Nope. My mum's granny and my mum's dad both had dementia. So, you know, there's that family link there. But we'll see. I mean, my brain's already going to mush. So God knows. It's gonna... Look at all this iron. And that is solid. That is solid blocks of iron. If anyone's got any ideas what I could do with all this iron, please let me know in the comments. Like, I'm definitely looking for ideas. I'm thinking about... Um, making one of those square things that Toy Cat does on his flat world with the melons, if anyone's seen it. Uh, you know, that cube thing, because that looks, like, really cool, and I might have enough, you know, iron to do it. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!